Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me, your fashion teacher, IJ, and here is IJ Designs with another latest design. Do you love this raffle? Do you love it? Do you want to know how I made it? Okay, now let us go to the work table. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share my videos, and also put on the notification bell. And whenever I upload, you will be notified. See you on the work table. Bye. Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome back to another beautiful tutorial. It's me, IJ, your fashion teacher, and here is IJ Designs. I would like to say a very big thank you to all my subscribers, both my old and new subscribers, also the passers-by, those that like to view my videos. I would like to say a very big thank you to you all for coming back to check on what I have for you guys. I remain grateful. Thank you all. For supporting me so without wasting much time let's go to today's tutorial to today's tutorial i'm going to show to you guys how i achieved this beautiful ruffle that i used to make my off shoulder blouse the ruffle i use it as the off shoulder ruffle sleeve round it goes from the front to the back so i want to show to you guys how i achieve it it's very simple it is very easy but before achieving it, you have to finish making your blouse, the off-shoulder blouse. If you've not known how to draft or cut or sew an off-shoulder blouse, please check out one of my uh, your videos. I've made a well-detailed video on how to cut and also on how to sew an off-shoulder blouse. I'll link it to the description box below so that you can check it and also use it to achieve this raffle slip. It's very easy and it's very simple. So now I'm using this organza material. It is about five, four and a half yards of organza. So the length is, uh, the width is uh, 60 and uh, the inches is uh, four and a half yards. That is about 160 inches. So now I'm going to divide it into two to have a very long length. So when you divide the 160 inches by two, you have to get 360 inches long so that you can gather it and it will be full. So that is what I did. So now I have finished making my blouse, which I'll show to you guys later. Now is to achieve this uh, sleeve, this ruffles. It's very easy, it's very simple to achieve. Just get the amount of uh, organza you need to achieve it if you want it to be full you have to get a larger amount of fabric if you want it to be less also you have to get a lesser amount of uh, fabric lesser quantity so now i'm going to show to you guys how to achieve it so le now let's go to the working table to the machine to sew it up first like i said you have to divide it into two and after dividing it into two you now close it up do you see it i have done it i have closed it up and you also join it so that it will be lengthy the length will be long after joining it so i have joined it so it is very very lengthy so now what i have to do is to go to the machine to start gathering it up after which i will now fix it to the blouse that we have already finished making now guys i have joined the organza together like i said i cut it into two to have a very lengthy material so i have now joined the two together and also close it up do you see it i have closed it up so the next thing now is to start gathering the raffle so just take one end of the organza that you have closed already do you see it like my shoulder my round shoulder measurement is 38 plus 2 inches zip allowance. But you don't need the zip allowance because you are going to finish it up. They use this to place on top of it. So I'm going to make use of 38 inches. That is my round shoulder. So I'm going to pleat this. I'm going to 
make the ruffle to be 38 inches so that it's going to go around my shoulder now now i'll start so now take one edge of the organza put it under your machine put it down now you start watch what i'm going to do you start pull it out i'll start gathering it do you see make sure that the area that you joined is being hidden while gathering it so i'm going to gather it do you see what i'm doing do you see it already do you see it's forming that's the guy so i'm going to gather all this organza and have 38 inches that is my round shoulder measurement then i'll come back to show to you guys do you see the raffle do you see the raffle that is the raffle that we have just made i've gathered it to my desired length do you see it so now this is the blouse the off shoulder blouse like i said you have to finish it up do you see it i finish it up that's the off shoulder blouse i finish it up so now what i have to do is to fix it to the neck of my blouse so i, I won't fix it in this form when i fix it in this if you want you can fix it in this form but now i'm going to fix it by folding it in two to make it more ruffle so i'm going to fold it in two that is i'm going to take it in this form i'm going to fold it in i'm going to place it in this form by folding it in two do you see it i'm not going to leave it like this in a single way if you want you can do that but i prefer folding it in two to fix it to my blouse so i'm now going to fix it if you have a pop a mannequin you can place your blouse on the mannequin so that you can also fix it neatly but if you don't have you just take it gradually and you fix it with your hand so now i'm going to place it on my pop and i'll fix it and I'll i said if you have your pop just place your blouse your finished blouse on it and start tacking it gradually the raffle to the blouse with your pin after then you will now use your thread and needle the matching thread and needle to just tack it gradually because of the volume now you cannot sew it with your machine especially the domestic machine is going to be a little problem and for it to be neat just tack it gradually with your thread and needle do you see it so i finished putting mine do you see that the back do you see the raffle also at the back do you see how it is that's the zip do you see the zip so our blouse is now ready do you see it how beautiful very simple but beautiful do you see how the blouse is guys if this tutorial on how to make this type of raffle for your off shoulder blouse has been helpful to you don't forget to give me a giant thumbs up, like, share, and comment on my videos. And for those that have not subscribed, consider subscribing. Subscribe to this family. We are moving and we are growing together. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.